Hey, I'm trying to do my intro. All right, welcome back to another video on the Idaho Panhandlers. My name is Danny. Today we're doing a full on gear review and unboxing and first impressions video of this snowblower by a company known as Greenworks. Now, um, this one came from Costco. It retails in at $800, $79.99, and it's all battery operated, which is brand new to me. So I'm used to gas powered snowblowers, never used a battery operated one, um, but we're gonna open this guy up. So essentially, I'll just kind of read off the box here, quick stats. Uh, the batteries are 80 volts, um, so it should be pretty high powered. Uh, you get 22 inches of clearing space in the snow thrower, and yeah, so let's cut the box open and see what we've got inside this guy. Oh no, we got snow in the box with the snow blower. So this is kind of what we're looking at. This is probably the battery box. Oh yeah. Kind of what we're looking at here. Greenworks Pro 80 volt lithium max. Wow, these batteries, they are hefty. Look at that, I'm bigger than my hand. That's not saying much. And they are all completely dead. So I'm actually gonna run inside and get these guys charging. Um, so then we can maybe use them in a little bit, get them all warmed up. <laughs> Let's go, Wally, come on. Two little red indicators so you can check the level or buttons. All right, now we wait. Okay. Oh lord. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Ah. A couple of loose things. The bearing in the box, and then we have the chute. But other than that, the box is empty. So I don't know if it's just me, but I don't see any instructions in this thing. Okay, so on the snowblower, there's actually this lid, and this is where the two 80 volt batteries go into, side by side, and instructions, and hardware. Okay, so we have the chute. It's pretty easy, it just slides in kind of like so, and then you have two screw holes on each side, one, two, and then they just fit in with these Phillips screws right here. I just have a drill. This lever, and you can adjust your, your angle, and then you can turn it as well. Next up, we just have the handles. Okay, so the assembly's pretty straightforward and I actually took a couple minutes off camera to kind of get a feel for it and figure it out. Um, but this is how it came out of the box. Essentially, all you do is you bring up this arm and you tight it, tighten it in place with this little lever. And then you come over and do the same thing on the right side. The only difference is that this arm and this lever isn't set up for you. And that's what I was trying to figure out off camera. but. Essentially it has this arm right here and it has the green lever with this bolt. And so all you do is you stick the bolt through and then there's actually a hole right here on the side and then it just slips through. 
Now I mentioned earlier at the bottom of the box, there was just kind of like a bearing and then another green little knob. And if you can kind of see over here on this side, that's where this green knob goes, just on this side. So anyways, we take the bearing and we'll just fit it onto the bolts like so. Push it so it's tight. And then the green knob should just thread on like so. Okay, so those are on, kind of like so. And now, it just looks like we put this middle handle up. Kind of snap it into place. There's two holes right here and right here. I think all we have to do is thread some screws in and then tighten it up. Okay, so next we'll attach this guy. This installation's pretty straightforward. You don't really need a lot. Next, we'll just secure what appears to be the middle handle. And like so. So super easy, super quick installation. I think all we have left to do is just kind of feed the cords into these hooks. All right, and kind of like that, I think we have a snowblower. I know that wasn't the best assembly video. Um, it was pretty quick and rudimentary, but if I can do it, you can do it. I think there was literally six screws that I had to put in, some very basic tools to set this guy up. And yeah, I think it's time to, to use it. So we got just about an inch of snow last night. We didn't get a ton, but we'll fire it up. We'll throw the batteries in once they're fully charged and see how it does in light snow. And then next week we're supposed to get dumped with snow. So we'll wait um, to finish this video out and actually put this guy to use in some really, really heavy stuff. Um, but really quick before I do that, I wanted to go over just a couple quick specs with you guys, a little bit more um, information on this snowblower. So these are essentially just facts that came from uh, Costco's website and it's probably even on the box, but basically, again, there's a 22 inch clearing width of the snowblower and it says that it is capable of clearing snow up to 13 inches in depth. So if you have over a foot of snow, Theoretically, it should clear it for you. The dimensions of this guy are 22 inches wide by 52 inches long by about 40 inches tall. And the total weight of this machine is 56.88 pounds. So it's got a good weight to it. it it's, it's pretty light, so I think really anybody can, can use it. And it's pretty straightforward. So I just wanted to say those quick things and let's go get the batteries, try it in some light snow. Okay, it looks like we're all charged up. Just unplug that. So I think just to remove them, you probably push this button. Oh yeah. Okay, so it has instructions right here on this little handle and it says press and hold this guy and then pull the bale. All right. Pull the button, pull the bale. So we're gonna take it over to our home gym shed, our little pathway to that, where nobody's walked yet uh, today. All the stuff's pretty packed down here on the driveway. 
where we've been working and we'll test it out there in some light snow again, probably about an inch or two. So not too shabby. It actually worked pretty well. The um, little pathway that we have here to the, the gym shed is completely clear. And you can see grass and it actually did a pretty good job. Um, again, that was just about one to two inches of snow. So um, not very much uh, depth there, but it does say that you can go um, to depth of 13 inches. Um, and that's what it's capable of. So we'll wait for a few days and we'll come back to this spot and hopefully we'll have quite a bit more snow and we can see how this uh, snow blower does in the deep powder. All right, welcome to about a week later here in North Idaho, as promised. We have a lot more snow on the ground, so we get to test this guy out in some real winter conditions here. We probably got about a foot of snow and here in North Idaho, we've got some bone chilling temps I think we're sitting right around 10 degrees today, um, but tomorrow they're calling for the forecast to be about negative 10 at the lowest with about a negative 30 degree wind chill. So I'm trying to get this done uh, before then. So yeah, we've got some weather today. Sorry if you guys can hear the snow plow in the background on our, on our road, but we've got some weather today and let's put this guy to work. I'm gonna set a timer and we're just going to go non-stop to see how long the battery lasts. Hope you guys enjoy it. All right, so not too bad at all. I just got this whole stretch done down to the dirt, down to the earth in six and a half minutes. And we've got a lot of powder right now, but it did really, really good. As you guys can tell, it completely made a difference. And what I'm noticing about this snowblower is that it seems like anybody can use it. It's light, it's easy to maneuver. And so far I'm really, really digging it. So we're just gonna keep going until we run the battery out and let's go to other parts of the house and do some snow blowing. Yo, hey, get your lobster, get it. Lolly, get it, get it, get it. So I'm about 17 to 18 minutes in of uh, snow blowing and I just turned it off to change the angle on the camera and I came back to, to turn the snow blower back on and I get this beeping noise. You guys can probably hear it. And what it is, I'll show you guys. There's a blue indicator coming from this battery cold little icon right here. So I'll do it again here. So you can kind of see that blue icon going. And I checked one of the batteries and it's completely dead. So I wiped out a whole battery in about 17 minutes. And so the next battery is completely cold. 
and it's too cold to, to continue the job so I need to go warm it up. So it might be best to keep one battery inside where it's warm and then once you're dead, once you're done with one battery, swap it out, put the, uh, put the bad one on charge and then just kind of keep the cycle going. If they can't perform in cold weather, then that's kind of an issue. So not a big deal, just wanted to point it out. So I think we're gonna use just one battery at a time from now on instead of them both being in there. But we'll warm the other battery up and keep going. Perfect timing. That's it. Batteries toast. So, that was nice. So in total here, We're sitting right at 40 minutes and 30 seconds, but I do film. So I'm gonna take a couple minutes off and say it lasted both batteries about 38 minutes straight of plowing or snow blowing. Pretty impressed you guys. I think the depth that we're working at about a foot is the max that I would wanna really use it in. Um, it killed it. I definitely think it prefers powder over ice. But you know, my driveway, my little paths, like I have no pavement here, no blacktop. This is all gravel, there's sticks, there's bark. And it was eating it all and it was shooting it out. Um, and from what I know, so far I haven't noticed any damage, nothing, uh, no difference in performance. Um, it worked, worked really, really well. So I think if you guys have a good normal driveway, this snow blower would be perfect. Here around the property for our little pathways to the woodshed, to the gym, down to the tractor, this thing's gonna come in handy and I'm, I'm super excited to have it in the arsenal of snow removal here in North Idaho on the Idaho Panhandler channel. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up on it, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Um, yeah, definitely leave me a comment though if you guys have any questions about this thing or any follow-up questions, things that I missed, um, but I definitely would give it a check if you're looking at getting one of these battery-operated snowblowers. Thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.